You have a lot of people who are in this world of QAnon who say, oh, they don't know what that is. They've never heard of it. They're just asking questions. With somebody like Jim Caviezel, he is openly embracing it. He's openly using its catchphrases and its concepts. He's speaking at QAnon conventions. And this film is being marketed to either specific QAnon believers or to people who believe all of the same tenets as QAnon. The Sound of Freedom does focus on a real issue, but that theme, it's sort of like that kernel of truth that feeds the QAnon conspiracy theory. Sure, and the most durable conspiracy theories are not entirely false, but the believers point to the one true thing and they say, oh, you don't believe that this particular thing is true. We know trafficking is real, but these films are created out of moral panics, they're created out of bogus statistics. What level of moral depravity do you have to descend to to get on national television and actually attempt to discourage people from seeing a movie exposing international child sex trafficking that you admit exists?